The overall goal of this procedure is to investigate gene expression profiles underlying numerous phenotypes or metabolic pathways. This is accomplished by first isolating mRNA from two contrasting nematode strains. The second step of the procedure is to synthesize cDNA containing either Psi3 or Psi5 capture sequences and hybridize them to a microarray. The third step of the procedure is to hybridize the microarray with anti-capture sequences containing Psi3 and Psi5 fluorophores. The final step of the procedure is to scan the microarray and analyze data using bioinformatic tools such as the Magic Tool software. Ultimately, candidate genes mediating the biological phenomenon under investigation are identified and can be validated and quantified by alternative techniques like real-time PCR. Generally, individuals new to this method will struggle because spotted oligonucleotides are not visible to the user, so it is difficult to overlay a homogeneous hybridization mixture onto the 23,000 plus uniquely printed oligonucleotides. Begin by collecting RNA from healthy synchronized nematodes. First, they are washed, resuspended in 15 milliliter tubes, and pelleted. Worm pellets are resuspended in 7 milliliters of 0.1 molar sodium chloride and 7 milliliters of ice cold 60% weight per volume sucrose. After a 15 minute incubation on ice, the worms are pelleted again. Now, bacteria free worms will swim up, are collected, washed in RNase-free water, and pelleted again. The clean, loosely compacted pellet is transferred to a microcentrifuge tube spun down at maximum speed for 30 seconds, aspirated, and stored in 10 volumes of RNA later at 4 degrees Celsius until ready to proceed. To prepare total RNA samples, centrifuge the prepared pellets at maximum speed. Discard the supernatant and add a pinch of molecular grinding resin to the pellet. Then freeze the mix using liquid nitrogen. Using a pestle, grind the frozen worm suspension into a fine powder. Add liquid nitrogen as needed to keep the powder cold. After grinding, put the extract on ice for 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, mix the extract with 700 microliters of RLT-BME and 472 microliters of 100% ethanol. Total RNA can now be isolated using a commercially available kit to a final volume of 60 microliters of isolated RNA per biological sample. Before proceeding, remove potential genomic DNA contamination by treating with DNAs1, followed by use of a commercially available RNA cleanup kit. Complete the kit by alluding to a 60 microliter volume. Finally, determine the RNA concentration and evaluate the integrity of the RNA by treatment with glyoxy sample loading dye and gel analysis. Prior to microarray hybridization, using conventional methods, purified RNA is reverse transcribed into complementary DNA, which is purified from the degraded template with a commercially available kit and alluded to a volume of 60 microliters. Begin the microarray hybridization by blocking C. elegans microarray slides with sonicated salmon sperm DNA. After an hour, dip the blocked slides in double distilled water and spin dry the slides in 50 milliliter conical tubes padded by a Kim wipe. Now, prepare a 2x formamide based hybridization buffer. First, warm it to 55 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes to fully dissolve its crystals then centrifuge it for 1 minute at 10,000 Gs. Next, mix 25 microliters of cDNA with 25 microliters of hybridization buffer and flick the mixture gently. Now, perform a quick spin of the mix and incubate it at 80 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. After the incubation, carefully pipette the entire cDNA sample onto the microarray slide without touching the slide. To uniformly spread the sample onto the microarray slide, Gently lower a cover slip onto the slide using a syringe needle. Before the cover slip is completely lowered, pull back up and lower with the needle again, allowing the cover slip to gently fall into place. This technique minimizes the formation of air bubbles. Now, place the slide horizontally in a 50 milliliter conical tube. 
below the slide, add 50 microliters of double distilled water, and allow it to incubate overnight at 37 degrees Celsius. The next day, a second hybridization is performed. Briefly, after the slide is washed multiple times in SSC, the second buffer, which contains light-sensitive capture reagents and an anti-fade reagent, is applied using the same technique, followed by a short incubation, more washes, and drying. The slide can then be scanned. Images can be analyzed using the free software with open source magic tool. Briefly, under the Project tab, create and save a new project. Under the Build Expression Profile tab, select Load Image Pair and select the red image file as red and the green image file as green. Then, select the Build Expression Profile tab, choose Load Gene List to upload a C. elegans gene list file obtained from the GCAT website. To address and grid the microarray image, select the Build Expression Profile tab and Create Edit Grid option. Now edit the Grid Setup dialog box using 48 for the number of grids, 22 rows, and 22 columns for each grid, and choosing to number spots from left to right and top to bottom. Increase the percent contrast change and zoom in on the grid until the individual spots are easily distinguishable. Create the grids by selecting Set Top Left Spot on the left-hand panel and then clicking the center of the top left spot, followed by the top right spot, and bottom row on grid 1. Repeat this gridding procedure for each of the 48 grids, proceeding left to right and top to bottom. Then save by selecting the File tab and Save Current Grid As. Once saved, select the Finished tab. To eliminate any unrelated spots from the analysis, open the Build Expression Profile tab and under the Addressing Gridding option, select Spot Flagging. Now flag any streaked spots or background fluorescence and save by selecting Save Current Flags As under the File tab. The flagged files should be segmented. Lastly, analyze genes induced or repressed by a specified factor by selecting Explore under the Expression tab. In the Exploring dialog box, set the Find Genes Matching criteria. The number of twofold increases or decreases in expression intensity is known as X, and the value of X is the criteria for expression change. X is input under max value greater than X for induced genes and min value less than X for repressed genes. In this experiment, a dye swap control is performed. The two independent total RNA isolations from stage 3 and stage 4 larvae are hybridized as either green mutant versus red wild type or as red mutant versus green wild type. To confirm gene expression changes, make three independent total RNA isolations using the same procedure. Synthesize cDNA with a commercially available kit, and for each cDNA sample perform real-time PCR and triplicate using three housekeeping genes as controls. For demonstration, the following results examine gene expression induced in VSM1 OK1468 mutants, a nematode strain characterized by enhanced synaptic density. Prior to performing microarray analysis, the quality of the extracted RNA is checked using gel electrophoresis. The presence of two intact ribosomal subunits before and after DNase 1 treatment is indicative of a good RNA sample. In the microarray, wild-type cDNA is labeled red and VSM1 mutant cDNA is labeled green. In this one of the 48 grids analyzed per microarray, each small square represents a single printed oligonucleotide. In each array, each unique oligonucleotide is represented once. Microarray analysis of transcripts isolated from stage 4 larvae shows that genes coding for the major sperm proteins, or MSP, are induced in VSM1 mutants. Microarray analysis of stage 3 larvae also reveals expression changes within the same gene family in the mutant. Testing predictions from the microarray by real-time PCR analysis reveals that one member of the MSP gene family, MSP32, is induced in the VSM1 mutants. The data represents the average of three replicates of real-time PCR from the same RNA collection. 
After watching this video, you should have a good understanding of how to handle bioinformatic tools for genome-wide analysis, especially considering there are many open-source bioinformatic software programs available to the scientific community.